I'm from originally from Malawi, Zimbabwe. I came to South Africa 12 years ago. I was passionate about photography at a very tender age until I heard about a market photo workshop. I was doing photography in the streets, so I decided to take it uh, professionally. Um, I think at the beginning, why I took on photography was a sort of a leeway to try and get my way into videography. Um, but soon after doing photography, you know, I fell in love with this environment right here, which is the dark room, um, which you know involves in the analog photography aspect of photography. The reason why I did photography at first was to to take photographs and try to repaint them, you know, until at later stage when I was doing photography, I learned that I could even do more than just taking photos and repaint them. I could even tell stories that I want, that are concerning me, you know. I used to enjoy drawing, creating visual, visual narratives, storytelling, you know. Um, but that died when I got into high school. I lost interest in that. But then when I studied photography, it, it somehow came back to me that this is what I always wanted to do. Gender issues, sometimes if you are a female, nobody takes you seriously, especially in this uh, photography industry. There's a whole lot of legacies you have to face and also the barriers of entry because you need to become a business. You need to do more than take nice photos. You need to be able to be a person who can really interact with the world uh, financially, um, mentally, and also in a way of like marketing yourself and actually being a person who can get business. Just because you're talented, it doesn't mean that you're going to get the business. It's, it becomes, the challenge becomes more about how you're going to shape yourself as a as a personality almost, a personality that has a skill. With this incubator program, I'm hoping to be able to have uh, skills in terms of facilitating projects, you know, having to start my own uh, photo group where I will be teaching for the young people photography and how to tell their stories, you know. Once I have actually developed that skill uh, to actually start working as a freelancer, um, editing for other photographers. My hopes with this project of coming into it is that I'll come out with a, with a better view of how to make things better for myself as a photographer and also uh, having the opportunity to get back into a, a, a learning mode where we're not necessarily just doing things to, to, to make a buck and get ahead, but it's to actually uh, skill ourselves even more, even though now we're professionals and we're working and we get paid to do this. It's, and, and it's also for me an opportunity to go back to what I originally wanted to do with my photos, to go in a more artistic direction. How do I introduce my craft um, to, to the masses out there and um, how do I turn it into um, an income how do I turn it in how do I turn this passion this this craft that I'm doing into into a business and how do I keep it sustainable